The Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs are celebrating a big win this week as they took on the President's Cup for the first time in program history. Today, the celebrations continued with a parade through downtown, followed by a party at the Berglund Center. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman was with fans today as they showed the team just how proud they are. Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs fans showed up and out Saturday to celebrate the team's historic win this week. And if there's one thing fans made clear to the team, it's that the whole city is behind them. Roanoke's a hockey city. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, dogs. Players and fans alike were fired up Saturday. Hundreds of fans lined the streets for a parade to let the Rail Yard Dogs know how proud they are. Voice of the Dogs Mitch Stewart says this reception is long awaited. This has been coming for so long for, for this city, getting hockey back, and this celebration, these, these people showing out the way that they are today with all the support. It's been like that all week. I mean, this whole week has been a blur. Fans broke several attendance record over the season as they showed up to support the Dogs game after game. Crystal Hardy went to nearly every game. Seeing how much the attendance grew from last year to this year, insane and I can only imagine what it's going to do next year. The team showed their appreciation to fans at the Berglund Center after the parade. They're so personal, so nice. They take time out to interact with us and that, that's what it's all about. We're, we're a big family. We love our boys, we support our boys and they give it right back to us. Stewart says his view from above the rink lets him see just how electric the crowd is. It's really hard to put it to words. I've had the luckiest job in the whole world getting my view from up top when this place roars to life. The team wanted everyone here to know that they couldn't have done it without them. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.